Welcome to the 5-Minute English Vocabulary Podcast. My name is Herbert Lee, and I'll be your host. Now you can easily improve your vocabulary without memorizing long lists of boring words and still develop a powerful command of English. You'll learn the origin of words, or entomology, told as easy-to-remember stories. You'll also hear some jokes and learn some idioms as well. Episode 3 Baseball. There is a saying in America, it's baseball, hot dogs, and apple pie. This expression comes from a television commercial for the American car company Chevrolet. The complete saying was, in America, baseball, hot dogs, apple pie, and Chevrolet. Baseball, America's favorite pastime, has a long and colorful history. The game originated in England in the late 18th century and was codified in 1845. It quickly spread to America, where it became popular among working-class communities. In Asia, Japan and Taiwan are countries that love baseball. Today, baseball is played all over the world and is a sport played in the Olympics. Baseball is an unusual sport. Most sports are either individual sports or team sports. Football, basketball, and soccer are all team sports, while tennis, badminton, and golf are individual sports. However, baseball is both. It is an individual sport and a team sport. When the team is at bat, it is an individual sport, and when they're in the outfield, it's a team sport. The New York Yankees is one of the most famous baseball teams in America. My dad was a huge baseball fan, particularly the New York Yankees. When I was growing up in Canada during the 1950s and 60s, the New York Yankees were almost always in the World Series, the final games of the season. As soon as the Yankees won the American League championship, He'd book an airplane ticket to New York and call my brother-in-law in New York to buy the tickets for the entire series. Then he went with a dozen of his baseball pals to watch the series. Baseball was a real passion for my dad. He was a fanatic. We couldn't stay at home on a Saturday afternoon. My dad would have the television on, a shortwave radio on, and the phone in one hand. He'd be yelling and screaming so loud when the Yankees made a hit and he went absolutely hysterical when there was a home run. It was just too loud to stay at home. Sometimes we went to see movies with our dad, but he never bought us popcorn or soda. But one time when we all were in New York, he took us to a baseball game, a New York Yankees game. When he saw the popcorn seller, he said, you got to have popcorn at a baseball game, and he bought everyone a popcorn. When the hot dog seller came around, he said, you got to have a hot dog at a baseball game. Then he bought us some soda, a baseball hat, and a New York Yankees pennant. Yep, that was my dad. He was a real Yankees fan. Baseball and American culture are highly connected. Even racial integration is an important part of American baseball history. From the early 1900s, when baseball was formally organized up until the 1940s, there existed what was called the baseball color line. It was a gentleman's agreement that there should be no black players in Major League Baseball. Then, in 1945, Branch Rickey, the general manager of the Brooklyn Dodgers, invited Jackie Robinson to become the first African-American to play with all-white Dodgers farm team, the Montreal Royals. When Rickey interviewed Jackie Robinson, he demanded that Robinson not respond when on the receiving end of racial abuse. Robinson reportedly said, Are you looking for a Negro who is afraid to fight back? To which Ricky replied, He was looking for a person with guts enough not to fight back. Negro was a term at that time for what we call black or Afro-American today. Once Robinson agreed to turn the other cheek, which is a biblical phrase used by Ricky, who was a devout Christian, he was assigned to the Montreal Royals for the 1946 season. He had a very impressive season, both off and on the field, and so he got his chance to play in the pro leagues the following year. 
On April 15, 1947, Jackie Robinson made his first major league debut for the Brooklyn Dodgers before a crowd of 26,623 spectators, which included more than 14,000 black patrons. Black baseball fans flocked to see the Dodgers when they came to town, abandoning the Negro League teams which they had previously followed exclusively. Because Jackie Robinson was so committed to becoming a great baseball player, and because he was willing to turn the other cheek when he had racial abuse thrown at him, he gained the admiration of fans everywhere. Jackie Robinson is remembered as a pioneer in racial harmony, not just between blacks and whites, but between all races. Now, here are some common English expressions that come from the world of baseball. Ballpark figure is an approximate number, a guesstimate. So you say something like, just give me a ballpark figure for that construction, will ya? Cover all the bases. That means you have planned very carefully for something. So if you're at a meeting and you present your plans, if your plan is well thought out, someone will say, looks like you've covered all the bases. A curveball. A surprise. Someone does something out of character, which means they've thrown you a curveball. I never expected Marion to give such a great presentation. She really threw me a curveball. A double header. Two contests or events are held on the same day. Playing hardball. This term is used in business negotiation. So you would say something like, he's playing hardball with us. In other words, he's not willing to give up anything on his side. It's an uncompromising position. A heavy hitter. This term can be used in many areas. For example, someone who is a top salesman in the company is considered a heavy hitter. Home run. When a project or activity is done well, people will say, we had a home run, a complete success. The opposite of a home run is to strike out. Left field. Usually you say something like, that idea came out of left field, so it means it was unusual or unexpected. Play ball. So this is something the umpire of a baseball game will say, at the beginning of a game. So when it's used in everyday English, play ball means to go along with something or to get started. Rain check, commonly said as something like, let me take a rain check. It means let's postpone today's appointment for another time. Can I take a rain check for today's lunch? Step up to the plate. This means to rise to the occasion or challenge to do something you've not done before. Three strikes and you're out. You get two chances before you're out. In other words, fired. Touch base. You use it by saying, let's touch base later, which means let's talk later to see if all is well. Whole new ball game. This is a totally new situation and we have to look at it in a new way. Doing business during the pandemic is a whole new ball game. Yogi Berra is another famous New York Yankees player. He was also a coach and a manager for several other teams. He also developed something called yogiisms, which were impromptu pithy remarks, which were quite funny. So here are some examples. He said, it ain't over till it's over. Another time he said, you can observe a lot by watching. When he was giving directions to someone to his New Jersey home, which was accessible by two routes, he said, when you come to a fork in the road, take it. Always go to other people's funerals, otherwise they won't go to yours. If you can't imitate him, don't copy him. And on the subject of baseball, he said, Baseball is 90% mental. The other half is physical. And finally, I really didn't say everything I said. So there you have it. That's our episode three, Baseball. Hope you enjoyed it. If you like these podcasts, please subscribe 
And we look forward to seeing you next week with episode four, which is blah, blah, blabbermouth. Until then, bye for now.